a posterior subcapsular cataract with a large corn elastic mandism. Steep axis is at 70 degrees. The surgery started with the limbal corneal tunnel with a 2.8 millimeter keratome on the steep axis in the upper nasal quadrant. Tunnel floor entry with a cystitome creates a good rexis. Chamber is filled with viscoelastic. Tunnel floor entry enables undistorted view of the capsule and the anterior chamber would not collapse because the tunnel is closed. A blunt keratome enlarges the tunnel. Hydrodissection is done at one point. Capsular separating hydrodissection separates the cortex and keeps the nucleus epinucleus mass into one piece which is removed by trisection. Visco is continuously injected to protect the endothelium as well as to remove or gently glide the nuclear epinuclear masses out of the eye. A pie-like middle section is removed. The rest of the nucleus is uh, removed by visco sandwich technique. Cortex is aspirated with Simcoe cannula. Right and left sub-incisional cortex is removed by J-shaped cannulas which are modified Simcoe cannula. An eye oil is injected in, into the eye and rotated into the capsular bag. It's extremely important to remove every um, bit of viscoelastic from the anterior chamber, from the angle region, capsular bag as well as behind the lens before concluding the surgery. Thank you very much.